Hello, in this short video we're going to look at what we can do with Worksoft to be DevOps ready. Specifically, what does it mean to do continuous integration testing for SAP with Worksoft and Jenkins? So what we want to do is basically run our sort of our processes like a DevOps guru, right? And many companies, they talk about how do DevOps developers write their unit tests and they just drop them into the folder to be run with their their continuous integration server. That could be Jenkins or Team City or what have you. Um, and Worksoft, this is pretty easy. We we tend to have a very standard naming conventions on what folders are and what they do. You know, what's the production folder and the sandbox folder. So basically what we want to do is create a folder for your on-demand tests. Maybe it's your weekly test, your daily test, or it's like specifically some sales order tests that you want to be run as part of your DevOps process. Um, in this video, what we'll see is some new features to let you create bookmarks for folders and run those bookmarks easily from APIs. The goal is that when you're running Certify from Jenkins, you've got your continuous integration. Some people think it was your continuous delivery server over on the left, and it's going to do your integrations and your deployments and then finally your delivery of your software. But that may not be exactly where your test subs are. So we'll make remote REST calls over to Execution Manager that runs the tests in the right labs and passes back the results. So let's see what this looks like. First off, I've got my traditional regression test folder here. So these are my production tests. Notice all of these are read-only folders. And under my M1.6 Jenkins, I have regression tests or sales orders. So ideally, I want to run these tests every time I make a change to my sales orders for regressions. Now, I can consistently add more and more tests to these folders. Maybe I add new record sets or layouts to add more data. But the idea is I want to make it very easy to say whatever tests are in this folder, I want to run for my continuous integration. So what we'll do is we'll come over to Bookmark Administration and uh, Management Studio, and I'm going to add a certified folder. I'm just going to call it Jenkins SO, and this is my regression for sales orders. And I'll point to my certified database, I'll pick my project, and then I'll just navigate down. So basically what I'm going to do is put a checkbox to create a bookmark to say any certified processes are in this folder I want to run. What this does is it makes it really easy as developers write new tests, they'll just throw it in this folder. Okay? I can select more than one folder if I want. In this case I'm going to be pretty specific. Anything in this folder. Okay? So now I have a new bookmark called Jenkins Sales Orders. So what I want to do is go run these tests from my DevOps pipeline. So if I come to the Execution Manager API, I'll see there's some new APIs down here for bookmarks. So I'm just going to do what you would do as a user. I'm going to log in. This sets my security token. And as you can imagine, the get bookmarks will return a list of bookmarks. So if we try this from the Swagger server, let's see what we get. We get a list of the bookmarks. There is um, my um, database, my project, and then these are in the functional tests. I see there's my sandbox, there's my weeklies, there's my Jenkins sales orders. So as you can imagine, the list of them here matches up to what we got from the get request. So this Jenkins sales order is what I'm interested in. So I'll just copy that so we can use it again. Okay. So if I'm, say, from an API, I want to know, well, what's in this bookmark? Give me some details around it. Or I could ask, you maybe what are the processes in there? Um, since this is dynamic, ideally, people are adding to these processes all the time. I don't want to have to go do a lot of maintenance to pick what runs from Jenkins. I just want them to run. So let's execute. We can see this says, okay, there is... Um, Fiori sales order, there's a certified demo sales order. So anytime I add a new process to this folder, it'll go run. Okay? So this is, will happen dynamically. So 
What would it look like to run these? Well, obviously the put command has execute in it. So if we look, this says, I want to go execute a bookmark. Well, that seems to be pretty easy to do. I'll come over here. I'll put my bookmark name. And then where do I want my results? I can put in my execution manager results folder, any specific folder I want and I'll click execute. So now what's happening is it's kicking off and doing all the work. So we can go spy on this to see what's happening. If I open up execution manager, What I'll see now in the running now is there's a Jenkins sales sales orders is running. If I highlight that, I can see these two processes are running. Maybe if I jump to the resources, I'll catch part of them running here. So there's the one for the Fiori sales order is running. And in parallel, I've got the one with the SAP GUI. Okay. So that's pretty nice. Um, I actually am running these two processes. I didn't have to make um, a lot of changes and the execution manager, they just run. Okay. So to make this interesting, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this guy, I'm going to copy it and I'll just paste it. So now we've got a second version of this one called OCC1. So um, if I wanted to go run this, um, this bookmark again, it would now run three tests instead of one, right? So if I actually go run this getter, what I'll see is there's now an extra process, SAP order cache one in here. So when we think about how people do this in DevOps, they don't go through a lot of work to say, here's a model, here's a test, like synchronize this with my ALM, synchronize this with Jenkins, right? Th that's not how a real good DevOps workflow works. We don't want to be spend half our time synchronizing our tests with different tools to run them. What we want to do is just make it very easy to find a bookmark. And this happens to point to a folder in certified that says whatever tests exist, go run these. So I'm looking at zero maintenance in the middle to make this run on a regular basis. Okay. So let's go tie this to Jenkins. So right here, I have a, a, a daily process in Jenkins that runs some regression tests. I'm at 6 a.m. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to go create a new one. So this is called run bookmark daily. I'm going to go new item. And I'm going to call this um, sales orders CI, continuous integration. Um, and then can I copy it from bookmark? Uh, no, let's, look, let's go get that name again because I'm, I'm going to copy this one here um, to make it easier so I have my settings set up. Come back, new item. call this my sales orders and I want to copy that one that'll be my starting point click OK so I've got my EM user and EM password I'm going to set so I'll make that and I'll set my execution manager password I'll set these as defaults Now in this case, I'm not going to set it to build periodically. And I have my basic command here where I'm asking Execution Manager to go run things for me. Now we'll see this this has my other bookmark. So what I want to do is I actually want to run um, the bookmark that I just created. So if I forgot what that was, pretty easy. I'll come over here. I can see here's my bookmark Jenkins sales order. That has these processes in it. I'm going to go put that right here. So what I'm going to say is from rest command, go run this. Now what this means is literally execution manager will literally look up the bookmark of Jenkins sales order and it'll run an execute on it. And then those processes will run. So the nice thing is this really doesn't need a lot of maintenance. Okay. 
So um, we'll come up. So the idea is over here. These guys have completed. We'll notice there is no nothing running now. If I come to my requests. We'll see there's nothing here. This the Jenkins sales orders, this pre-built. So what happens is we will do all the work in Execution Manager dynamically on the fly. Okay. So if I click um, build with parameters and build, it'll start kicking off. So the idea is Jenkins is one of my steps in my build process and my pipeline. It gets triggered, it makes the call dynamically and um, looks up the um, list of um, processes to run and kicks them off. Okay, so if I come here and I click refresh, I can see the Jenkins sales order was dynamically picked up. There's my bookmark. I can see I now have three processes here because I added one. Didn't make any changes to Execution Manager. This is all done dynamically on the fly. If I come over to my um, results. Um, I have these going into my um, execution manager folder. Actually now I have these at my highest level. I can see they're kicking off here. Okay. So the idea is I want to actually do some testing and I want to kick off uh, my certified processes the same way that my developers do with their regression tests in Jenkins. But I don't want to have a, have a lot of extra work in the middle. So the new capabilities to create bookmarks are allowing me to do this. We can see this is still running. My bookmark, I'll remind you, this points to my folder and certify, which has got tests that my um, test authors are just going to drop them into here. I'll pick them up and start running them dynamically. And then as they um, add more and more tests, they'll just be kicked off automatically for me. So I don't have a lot of work in the middle. Um, the nice thing is you can still use any of the um, other REST calls in Execution Manager to see like the list of what's running. So if I say I wanted to create a dashboard in my um, sonar cube or something, say, well, what processes are running? I can just run an execute here and I can get a list of these. I can see here's my process Jenkins sales order that's running and when it started. Okay, um, I can get more details on that. that are, as I request, I can find out what's pending running, what's completed earlier today. So when you run, run your, um, your, do your SAP DevOps testing and run it like a DevOps guru, which you'll simply use is our capability to create bookmarks, run your processes or execution manager, and you can run them from Jenkins or any of your CI um, CD tools. Thanks and have a great day.